How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. If you guys would, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also, do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button. That way you guys don't miss out on future videos and streams from my channel. You guys can also find me on Discord at 6957 the Texas Man. And this is going to be Halo Infinite Rant Season 3 launch. I'm done trying to keep track of how many I've actually done because I've done... So many ranting and so many raging videos when it comes to Halo Infinite over the past year. And so I'm just going to be doing these types of rant videos when it comes to major new content when it comes to Halo Infinite. And I want to say a big shout out. Thank you to all the new subs that subscribed during the Halo Infinite Season 3 launch stream. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Make sure you guys go into the community area of my channel. You guys can find polls and information about the channel when it comes to news and things of that nature there. And check out the playlist section. That way you guys can catch up on older videos and you guys can get a sneak, pre sneak peek of upcoming content as well. So first of all, I want to talk about Halo Infinite Season 3 being that the new story is cool. The cutscenes are really great. It's much better than being like, look at me, I'm a Spartan and I'm shooting a gun at a gun range. It actually feels like there's some weight, there's some meaning, there's things that are going to progress and happen. Um, as far as the shroud screen, the new bubble shield, I think it's kind of interesting. I think that it's an interesting kit to the sandbox. Not only does it cause a bubble shield so you can't see in it, you can't see out of it, which I think some people hate, but I don't care. The cool thing about it is, is that you deploy it and you go in there fast enough, it will actually recharge your health and your shields fully in about less than two seconds, which is a really cool, you know, escape mechanism. The bandit rifle, the new weapon added into the sandbox, which is basically the DMR, but with iron sights, even when you're aiming down sights, it locks you into iron sights. There is no scope capability. Uh, I think the weapon personally is very weak. It's weak on damage output. The range on it is worse than the DMR. I'm sorry, worse than the BR, which should be the other way around, considering it's basically a, you know, the combination of the battle rifle and the sniper. It's supposed to be in the mix, and I feel like somehow it's weaker than the battle rifle and weaker than the sniper. It's weaker than the sidekick, and the the range on it is garbage. The recoil on it is ridiculous. I'm like, even when you're trying to do headshots, you constantly just have to shoot wait a second or two for the recoil to fix, then shoot again. So you can't even spam it. You can't, like, just semi-auto the thing. The recoil is just ridiculous, and I think it needs to be fixed. The Battle Pass is great. I think they took a lesson from things of Call of Duty and Battlefield, especially Battlefield 2042 recently, where if you complete the entire Battle Pass, you know, if you buy the Battle Pass like normal, like me, and you just spend the 1,000 credits, a.k.a. $10, on the Battle Pass... And you complete the entire battle pass, you'll have enough earnable credits that you can just reuse those for Season 4. So I like that they finally put that in. They didn't have that with Season 1 and 2. They finally have it here, which is great. Um, as far as the maps, Oasis, unfortunately I didn't get to play it yet at the time we were recording this video. I'm a big fan of BTB when it comes to Halo, especially Halo Infinite. And uh, when I do get a chance to play it, you guys will probably hear me talk either really high praises of it or be like oh it's just another btb map woohoo um as far as the two new arena maps which did both get to be in a featured playlist when season three launched which i think is a great addition uh chasm and i and i said this during the trailer reaction that i felt like it was going to be really small and tight quarters it basically is it's basically three lanes, and you spawn on the far left, or you spawn on the far right lane, and the middle lane is just total chaos, and you're constantly having to not only check where you're watching, but, you know, sniping positions and stuff. The map basically is a semi-open world-like version of Shipment, so it's Shipment with, you know, higher power positions for you to fight over. So it's basically Shipment from Call of Duty, in my opinion. It's not a terrible map, but it's like it only functions well for like Escalation Slayer slash gun game. Uh, King of the Hill is fine, and that's about it. I feel it. It just there's a lot of spots that you can get sniped from and killed from, and it's just I don't feel like it's a, a fun map. I don't feel it's fun, not for me at least. When it comes to the other arena map, Cliffhanger, which is basically. Um, 
a launch site and meets Destiny 1 Iron Banner Snowy Mountain Arena. That's what this map reminds me of. I think it's a great arena map. It's probably my favorite arena map, if we're being totally honest, when it comes to everything that's in the game right now. Um, not map creations from Forge. But this map feels open but it also has enough protection from like sniper and rocket fire and it just has tons of flank routes tons of spots for you to learn and explore and i like that crazy you know tons of lanes for you to explore and learn it's not a map that you can just play once like chasm when it comes to cliffhanger you do have to play the map several times before you're going to become professional and pro at the map and learning where certain weapons spawn and whatnot. I feel like it's one of those maps where you got to play it constantly to get better at it, which is what I really enjoy about Halo. Um, the UI got updated, the engine got updated, the graphics look a lot better, and I really do enjoy that. Also, at the end of the match, they added in a lot more details, a lot more stats. You actually have three stat screens that you can scroll through, and they put in medals. They don't give you XP, but it's cool to see medals for you like going on killing sprees and getting a certain amount of kills with snipers or power with you know rocket launchers or other power weapons i like that little stat in game thing instead of being like you got 10 kills you got two deaths and you spent this much time on the hill that's it like there's a little more in-depth stuff that they put in which i'm happy about and then lastly uh gun games last escalation slayer they did put that in at launch it doesn't have its own playlist which is kind of weird um, you can get it when you're playing on certain maps like Chasm. Uh, and the weird thing, though, about it is that it's not your normal gun game from Call of Duty, which I know I made a joke about when it came to the Halo Infinite Season 3 launch. It's like, oh, look, it's gun game. <laughs> um, it's not gun game from Call of Duty like you would expect. Um, it's team-based. It's not free-for-all. And then every time your team gets 11 kills with whatever loadout you have, you get... Everybody in your team gets upgraded to a different set of loadouts. And then your entire team has to get 11 kills uh, in total from all four of you, from all four players in your team. Get 11 kills with that, and you move up to loadout three. And you continue that until you win the match um, score wise, or you end up running out of time. So I think it's a little interesting spin on the gun game aspect. Uh, overall, I think I think that Season 3 is decent. Um, lastly, the Battle Pass. Not really interesting to me, per se. Like, I, I enjoy the earnable credits in the Battle Pass. And I'm happy that we finally have some weapon skins to grind for um, within the Battle Pass. But when it comes to, like, the armor cores, the paddings, utility belts, new helmet pieces, new, new armor cores, all that stuff. I'm like, I've got four decked out Spartans already. I'm like, I'm not really invested or care that much about trying to make another one. I'm like, the game's been out for over, what? The game's been out for two years now, I think. Yeah, 2021. The game's been out for a year and a half, basically, almost two years. I'm like, I don't much care about customizing my Spartan. If anything, I care about customizing weapons, new maps, new modes, maybe some vehicle skins. I just want more substantial content to keep me invested. So maps, modes, weapon skins. I don't much care about the Spartan customization, but I know that's what the Battle Pass is for primarily, but I still am going to enjoy grinding it. And I will continue to grind it, whether that's off screen or during videos or streams for you guys. So you guys, make sure you guys are subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next video or stream. Peace out, Spartans.